Hey all, welcome to the beta version of Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the new character, The Watcher. The Watcher starts off with the pure water relic at the start of each combat. Add a miracle into your hand, and miracle basically just is a card that retains and gives you energy whenever you need it. We are also playing on the October 9th beta version, so let's get started. Also doing Ascension 1 just to uh, get a good amount of elites. Okay, so um, let me briefly go over the mechanics. This is a new character. Uh, I have played it since day one, but the, some of the cards have changed quite a bit, so I, I am going to read out all the cards again. But the main mechanics are Wrath and uh, Vigilance, or Calm. The so Wrath basically puts you in the stance where you deal and receive double attack damage, and Calm puts you in a stance where upon exiting the stance, you gain two extra energy. So let's get started. Um, of these... Hmm, let's see if we have a shop for the... Oh, we do have an early shop on the right side. I'd also like to hit the Super Elite. Um, so we could go on this path that gives us an early shop as well as a, potentially a Super Elite. Um, yeah, I think we'll do that. Right. So with the uh, Wrath uh, sort of mechanic, we can easily kill in one turn. Although we do need the extra energy, which is exactly where the Miracle comes in. So you and you. Okay. Now this is easy on the first floor, and the next floor it gets harder. Okay, so I'm going to read out all the new cards. Uh, so Flurry of Blows is deal 4 damage whenever you change stances. Return this card from the discard pile to your hand. Crush Joint is uh, deal 8 damage. If the last card played this combat was a skill, apply one vulnerable. And Prostrate is gain 2 mantra and gain 4 block. Mantra is uh, this sort of stance where upon gaining 10 mantra total, uh, you enter this new stance called Divinity. Uh, which gives you three extra energy and also allows you to do triple damage, um, but only for one turn. And the problem is it takes quite a while to set that up. Um, I'm not sure we'll go with that. Crush of Joint, what Crush Joint is basically like a safe bet, but Flurry of Blows might be interesting. Although we currently have only two cards to change stances, let's do Crush Joints. Save option. Um, okay, I think here. I want to lose more max HP. Let's take the injury. We can remove it at the next shop. We have a lot of gold. Okay, so eruption is a little dangerous here because then we'll get 22 damage and we don't really, we can't really defend against that. So let's just do defend, rush joint, um, defend, and I'll do a miracle strike again. Okay. Um, I'll do vigilance here, setting up for the next uh, wrath we got. That should allow us to kill, especially with the extra energy from calm. Right, yeah, so there we got extra energy and two strike skill. Okay. Um, so we got empty body, gain seven block, exit your stance. Uh, protect is retain, gain 13 block. And third eye is gain seven block and scry three. Scry is basically you look at the top X cards of your draw pile and you discard any, the ones you want. Um, so I know this game has a lot of scry mechanics, or this character specifically. I haven't liked any of them. I don't think they're powerful. I think I'll go with Protect. Having a 13 block on hand whenever we need it is pretty powerful. Alright, and then here I think we'll go with the max HP since we lost some. It'll be good to gain some back. Okay, so uh, let me read the new relic. There's Akabiko. Uh, your first attack each combat deals 8 additional damage. That's, that's interesting. Not bad. Interesting. Um, of the new cards, we got Consecrate, deal 5 damage to all enemies. Um, Bowling Bash, deal 7 damage for each enemy in combat. And Swivel, gain 8 block. The next attack you play costs 0. Uh, Scrawl is draw cards until your hand is full. And Mental Fortress, whenever you change stances, gain 3 block. Now, this is not super useful for us. Again, we don't have enough st uh, stance switching cards yet. Let's first remove the curse. That's definitely something we want to do. Um, let's see, I don't really... There are a few cards in this game that, that basically decide the whole game, but I don't see any of them. Let's say Consecrate, as it, it is on sale and it's free damage. Bullying Bash would be useful if we have um, a lot of enemies, which... Final boss here. If we have the Slime Boss, yeah. Okay, fine. Let's take let's take Bullying Bash. And um, Scrawl is too expensive. We don't have the energy for that. I'll take Swivel too, sure. And then let's also stack up on Potions for the Super Elite. We have the gold. Might as well spend it. So let's upgrade, uh, let's see, so Bowling Bash does a little bit extra damage, would be helpful against the sentries, but pretty much nothing else. Um, probably Protect, actually. Yeah, let's do Protect. Again, extra block on hand. Okay, we do have the Lagavulin, um, so we probably want to wait until an eruption. Okay, definitely want to wait here. 
Okay, so we got Vigilance first, which is upsetting because then we won't be able to do Eruption and then get another card. But at least we can play Vigilance now. We'll gain um, extra block that way. Or uh, extra energy once we switch. Okay, I think I'll risk it. Um, so let's do Swivel. No, we don't even need that. Let's do just Eruption and then play all of our attacks. Okay. So now we are receiving double damage, 36. So I was hoping to gain, um, I guess we only have one card, Vigilant, so it was a risk. You know what, let me see what skill potion we get. Um, okay, so this Judgment, if the enemy has 30 or less HP, set their HP to zero, so it's basically like a finisher card. Vault, skip the next enemy turn, end your turn. Um, so we could use that to skip this turn. This is, by the way, new. It, it used to be something else before. And Halt, um, gain three block whenever you are in Wrath form, gain nine additional block. That might be better, actually. No, we can just do Walt. Walt. I mean, we'll skip this turn, but... Okay. Um, and now we can actually do Vigilance to get out of this. All right, let's do Consecrate, Strike, and Vigilance. I could actually Miracle another Defend, but I don't think I need to. All right, that Vault thing was interesting. Okay, um, so let's do Crush Joints. Wait, wait a minute. So Vault skips the next enemy turn. But it didn't actually, he should have been not attacking this turn. All right, so that's that's probably a bug or an unintended consequence. Uh, let's just do protect here. Okay, next turn we're not getting attacked, right? Yep. So here, do we have uh, eruption next time? We do. Um, let's play all of our attack cards. Okay. We do also have a fire potion, which I should be willing to use, but no, we don't, we don't have, it's just eruption. That's not gonna be it. That's not gonna be enough at least. At least we can do swivel. Yeah, let's do Swivel, Eruption, and then Vigilance again, just to deal a tiny bit of damage. Okay, another 18. Yeah, this is a poor hand. Uh, I mean, might as well do all of this. I'll do a Miracle Defend. We're not getting a tech next turn, we're very likely to kill, so I'm trying to save some, some HP here. Okay. Alright, at least we killed the Super Elite, so that's, that's an achievement. So we got Dreamcatcher, whenever you rest you may add a card into your deck, as well as the Emerald Key, and um, so yeah, just lucky is Scry 1, gain 2 block, deal 3 damage for 0 cost. Conclude is deal 12 damage to all enemies and end your turn. And Cut Through Fate is deal 7 damage, Scry 2, and draw 1 card. So you see there are a lot of sort of Scry cards, uh, but I think we'll go with Conclude. Conclude is a finisher, so if we had it in this turn, actually we do have it in this turn, we'll, we'll kill the Frontliner, which is nice. Let's just do Vigilance and Conclude. All right, um, double defend and strike here. I'm waiting for the wrath, or the yeah wrath. Uh, it's literally the last card in my hand, right? Okay, which is fine. I don't want to wrath him just yet. Uh, let's do protect, rush joints, and consecrate. Oh, he's dead. All right, we got an ancient potion and uh, weave. Uh, deal four damage whenever you scry. Return this from the card, or just return this from the discard pile to your hand. You can see that you can get a really nice scry deck going on with weave. The other two we already seen before. I do not want to take any of them. I mean, we don't have any scry capabilities. We did get a lot of cards offered. But I'll take Just Lucky. It's a tiny bit of damage. So why not? Got all these smooth stones. I just come with one dexterity. I'll definitely keep that. Okay, here we got the sentries. Um, they would like vigilance. Although extra energy is useless if we are going to get a bunch of the dazed uh, that the enemy puts in our deck. But let's do a vigilance. That will give us full block. And then we can do one strike. Okay, we also have a fire potion that I should be able to use. Okay, 18 incoming. Uh, now, Bowling Dash would do 21 damage. That's not bad at all. And we can fully defend with the Protect, right? Good. Okay. Alright, not taking any damage yet. So, there is a Eruption, but we won't be able to defend against the 18 incoming. Um, unless, hang on, Eruption is 9, this would be 10, so 19, <clears throat> and then another 16. We could throw the Fire Potion. Do we have... We do also have a Conclude next turn, which will definitely kill the Frontliner. Um, okay, let's do it. Let's do Eruption. Mm -hmm. Then Just Lucky. Uh, I will actually keep the Conclude. Consecrate. Okay, and then throw the fire potion. 
and then do fresh joints. Okay. And yeah, the uh, conclude should kill next turn, right? Yep. So the Watcher, I like. It's kind of like it's a very thinking character. You have to think a lot. Uh, I mean, we don't have any like really complicated cards yet, but there are some dynamics that you'd have to really plan out your your turn. We got Matrash, got the next two non-boss chests you open, contain two relics, as well as Gambrus Brew, and um, the Worship is gain five mantra, as I mentioned, once you have ten mantra, you enter Divinity, the strong attack, triple damage attack. Windmill Strike, um, deals seven damage, when retained, increase its damage by four this combat. So basically, you'll keep it in your hand until it gets really powerful and you use it to kill. And Deceive Reality is gain four block, add a safety into your hand. I actually feel like that might be a little better for us. Um, if we go on the left, which I'll probably do, we're not going to hit another elite. So probably not going to hit the gremlin knob. In which case, I think we'll go with uh, Deceive Reality, yeah. Um, Alright, let's go this way. We'll get three question marks that way. Actually, I guess on the left we would have gotten three question marks and a rest. But this way we also get a card draw opportunity. Alright, let's do Swivel. Um, strike for free and then another strike for you. Okay. Alright, so Bowling Bash just... 14 damage. Um, let's do that and then kill you, and then we can deal with the backfire next turn. Okay. We, I do want to keep that. Alright. Okay, so we already have Crush Joint. Sanctity gains 6 block. If the last card played this combat was a skill, draw 2 cards and Carve Reality. Deal 5 damage, add a smite into your hand, and the smite is a strong attack card. So, um, Carve Reality is basically the opposite of the Thief uh, Reality. Um, so I think I'll take it. Um, having some cards on retainer is not a bad idea. Uh, remove a card or heal. I don't think we need to heal. Let's actually remove probably... I feel like we took a little more offensive cards than defensive cards. So let's remove his basic strike. Okay, here we got Horn Clee. That's a new relic at the start of your turn. Um, or sorry, at the start of your second turn, gain 14 block. Now this goes together with a few other relics that give you at uh, the start of the first, second, and third turn some block. So that's pretty nice. Those blood vial at a savage combat heal two HP. We'll definitely take that. Um, okay, we'll risk it. Oh, all right, we we did get the gremlin knob in the end. We should be fine though. I hope, depending on our card draw, really. Um, all right, so let's do. Hmm, we don't really need swivel. Let's just do. Vig. No, hang on. Yeah, let's do vigilance. Um, deceive reality and consecrate. Okay. okay, 14 incoming, and we have, thanks to Horncleed, full defense against that. So let's just do Bowling Bash and Strike. I don't want to give him any extra strength. Another 14. Can we kill here? Eruption, include is 24, plus 9 is 33. Crush Joints is another 16. That's 49. And that's it for offensive cards. Uh, we do have a Protect, though. Also, I didn't account for the fact that we can do uh, crush joints. Let's do eruption. Play a safe team. Then do crush joints. Okay, and so this will do 36 damage. That's not enough, right? Actually, not if we do miracle, strike, and conclude. Okay, yeah, this is what I mean, right? You have to plan your turns. Got a whetstone if we pick up. Okay, two random attacks. Let's first see what we got here. We got a rare card, uh, Ragnarok. Deal five damage to a random enemy five times. And I think it upgrades to uh, six, six times. Uh, cut through fate. Deal seven damage. Scry two, draw one. Oh, I already read that. And talk to the hand, which is, I think is a really good card. So deal five damage. Whenever you attack this enemy, gain two block. And that's a permanent effect in the combat. But I think we'll take that. And then whetstone upgraded it. Um, deal seven damage and gain three blocks. So that's really good. Um... Here, let's definitely upgrade. Lots of options here. Um, conclude wouldn't be a bad idea to upgrade. Uh, and then Carve Reality upgrade. Um, oh, actually they changed it. I think it used to give you an upgrade. It's my... All right, let's let's upgrade the Conclude. Okay. Especially in this upcoming fight, would you? You might get out, end up with a lot of slimes. All right, so yeah, not the best opening hand here. I actually think if I, sh you know what? Let's do Gamble Screw. The miracle. All right, uh, eruption. Since we know we're not getting attacked next turn, I think I'll do it. Um, let's actually get a strike out here. Okay. All right, uh, a little too early for talk to the hand. I also want to make sure I don't split him yet this turn. So let's do carve reality. Okay, so that's twenty-four damage whenever we need to. Uh, let's actually thirty-two. That's too much, right? I'll split him. Yeah. 
Uh, so let's do Arc to the Hand. Okay. Just lucky. That's 8 damage. Alright, we're getting close. We'll get her up to defend. Next turn it'll be very offensive. Okay. Alright, 70 incoming, but luckily we have Rush Joints, Smite, and Strike. Okay, that was a pretty good turn. Alright, now unfortunately we're still in the Wrath form, so uh, we sort of have to deal with a lot of incoming. Um, we need 11 damage to split, right? Or 12 actually. Okay, so Strike splits. Um, but that's pretty much it. But this won't split, right? Okay, I think we can defend against the 22 though. Let me keep the carp reality. And then I think we could just do def no no, let's just do protect here. Alright, fully defended. Um a lot of incoming. We can just conclude everything, right? Perfect. Alright, let's see the rare card we get offered. Um so Diva Form used to be gain nine plated armor, which I think was ridiculously powerful, so they changed it. At the start of your turn, gain energy and increase this gain by one, which means at the start of your first turn, you gain one energy, second turn, you get two, etc. So it just keeps going from there. Master Reality, whenever you, a, a card is created during combat, upgrade it. That basically affects the cards created by Carve Reality and Deceive Reality. Um, that's interesting. And then Wish, choose one, gain two plated armor each turn, three strength or 25 gold, and it exhausts. So this was also upgraded. I'm actually not 100% sure what it did before or changed. But uh, what is it? Upgrade uh, three plated armor. Yeah, it just makes it really powerful. I mean, the two plated armor each turn is can be ridiculous. It, it is two plated armor and it increases. So if you don't get attacked long enough, you can get a really large amount of plated armor. I think I'll go with wish. Um, all right. So here it well, we only have energy relics, right? I don't think I'll take ectoplasm. So fusion hammers gain energy at the start of your turn. You can no longer smith the red sites and curse key and gain energy at the start of your turn. Whenever you open an ombos chest, open a curse. Since this is not a daily, I'd rather avoid curses. So let's go with fusion hammer. Although we just have two or three card upgrades. So that might be difficult. Fine. Let's play it safe. Let's do curse key. So we want to make sure that we have shops off the chests so that we can um, remove the curses. All right, so let me actually look for... Yeah, there's a shop after the chest in the middle. Okay, so I think we'll go... Um, yeah, we'll just do a two-lead path. Hit this elite, this chest, remove the curse, and then that also gives us a good amount of question mark rooms. Because of that shop, I won't go to the early shop. I'll go for a later one. All right, so... Um, we can do Bowling Bash and Swivel. Let's do Deceive Reality first. Okay, Swivel. Bowling Bash, Concentrate, and Safety. We can just defend. Let's hang on to the safety for next turn. It is retained. Okay. Um, let's do... We're still not getting good attacks. Um, just Lucky. Uh, I Well, we could do Wish and gain gold, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll hang on to both in case they both attack. Actually, no, I'll get rid of the Protect because I'd rather try to kill somebody if I can. Um, let's do a strike and then a uh, vigilance. Okay. All right, they are. One of them is attacking. Uh, okay, can we kill them? I think we can, right? We can do. Oh, actually, conclude will kill the frontliner once we have the eruption active. So let's do eruption, and then we can conclude the frontliner. So let's just do wish, um, gain gold out of this. Okay, and then we'll do conclude. Right. Yeah, this guy should be dead. Perfect. Alright, we got a uh, skill potion as well as uh, wave of the hand. Whenever you gain block this turn, apply two weak to all enemies. It's actually upgraded, very nice. Um, we already have consecrate and battle him innate. At the start of each turn, add a smite into your hand. That might be interesting. Um, yeah, that would do a lot of damage. Wave of the Hand is the other. It, it's a defensive option. I think I'll go with Wave of the Hand. Play it a little safer. Okay, we got the Sphere Guard in here. Um, let's do Eruption. Although we are getting a tech next turn, but I think it's worth it. Actually, let's do Eruption. Then Swivel. No, we don't need Swivel. We can just do Crush Joint, Miracle, Strike, and Conclude. Perfect. All right, another crush joins. Empty fist is de deal twelve damage. Exit your stance and empty. That's basically the opposite of empty body. Um, I think I'll actually take empty fist. We do have um, not many cards that allow us to switch our uh, stance. Here we could get five copies of bite. Do we want that? No. Hmm. Tough decision. 
It would be good attack. Fine, let's take it. We just lose the blood vial for that, which is fine. And then I said we'll go this way. We, we won't. We'll skip the shop. We'll get another one. All right. So uh, there are a lot of new cards here. Um, okay, let me briefly re read through the new ones. So we got flick. Deal four damage. If, if an enemy is flicked three times, they take forty damage. That's good if you have a lot of these. Um, we already spread all of these. Nirvana is whenever you scry, gain four block. Again, useful for a scry deck. Prey is gain three man mantras. Shuffle an insight into your draw pile. And inside um, is, I believe, you just draw two cards for zero cost. And um, we've seen everything else right here. Flying sleeves. Retain and deal four damage twice. Inner peace. If you are in calm, draw three cards. Otherwise, enter calm. And uh, yeah, we already have prostate. Prostrate. Um, I'm not sure which of these are like. Talk to the, talk to the Yen is probably the best one here. Let's take it. Alt will be another option since we do our we, we use Wrath a lot or Wrath, not Wrath. All right, here we got Nilroy's Codex. At the end of your turn, you may shuffle one of three random cards into your drop pile. Not the best of these options, but sure. Here, let's upgrade. Um, I mean, upgrading Wish would be nice. Talk to the Hand would also be good, but let's start with Wish. Okay. Ooh, this this might be a little rough. Um, so let's see. Let's do Deceive Reality. I do want to see what skill potion we get. Uh, all right. Uh, Blasphemy is interesting. Enter Divinity, die next turn. Uh, as I mentioned, Divinity is triple damage. So it's just really just like a safety option. Uh, Foreign Influence is really powerful. Choose one of three attack cards of any color to add into your hand. It's basically a discovery, but the um, attack cards uh, do cost energy. Um, and then Empty Mind, draw two cards, exit your stand. Let's take Foreign Influence here. So that will give us Swift Strike, Windmill Strike. Windmill Strike wouldn't be a bad idea, just to keep it in our hand. Alright, let's focus on defense here. So let's do... Um, Bowling Bash is 21. I kind of feel like I have to do it. Safety for block, and then I'll do... Um, yeah, Empty Fist does a little bit more damage than the Bite, right? You know what? Let's Miracle and Bite too. Okay. Um, yeah, thanks to Nailor Codex, this whole game will take a little longer, but we got Evaluate, gain 6 blo block, shuffle an insight into your draw pile, and as I said, insight is a zero cost, draw 2 cards card. Uh, Tranquility, retain, enter calm, and exhaust, that's basically a card you hang in onto into your hand until you want to use it. And Tantrum, yeah, deal 3 damage 3 times, enter wrath, and shuffle this card into your draw pile. I think Tranquility is not a bad idea. In case we end up in the wrath uh, stance, we can easily switch out of it. Alright, so, um... This is interesting. If I double my damage, I do have some block, uh, but I think we should be able to kill some people that way, right? Let's do Eruption. Consecrate will do 10. Carve Damage will do a bunch. Um, okay, let me try. So, Carve Damage. Uh, consecrate. Oh, carve Reality. What did I say? Consecrate. Okay, just lucky. 824. That's enough to kill the Frontliner, right? And we are fully defending against the Backliner. Um, I'll hang on to the Vigilant just in case I need the... Actually, no, let's hang on to the Protect. So we can defend and still deal damage next turn. Okay. Uh, none of these. We can probably skip through this. Just need to do enough damage. Um, Alright, so that's one bite. And then um, I think I'll probably... Actually, conclude will kill, right? Yeah, let's do a second bite and then conclude. Okay, this actually went pretty well. Got Runic Dijikidron. If your HP is full, gain energy at the start of your turn. As well as, uh, yeah, I think we saw all of these already. I don't think I'll take any of them. Empty body, maybe. Actually, tranquility, yeah, we just got that through Neil Roy's Codex. Having that in our opening, or uh, in our hand whenever we need it wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, so this would only upgrade the defense. Uh, I think I'll remove... You know what? It's still valuable. Let's upgrade the four defense we have. Okay, so we are, here we got a normality as well as Tor or Nitopter. Whenever you use a potion, heal 5 HP, very useful. And Molten Egg, whenever you add an attack into your deck, upgrade it. Now, the reason I'm hesitant is because I don't want to open a chest next turn, or I don't want to have to open a chest next turn, so I, I should take the Sapphire Key. But Molten Egg is very powerful. No, let's take the Sapphire Key. Let's let's play safe. Okay, so uh, the new relic here is Yang. Whenever you play an attack, gain 1 Temporary Dexterity. Um, and Ori, I should mention, was downgraded from a boss relic to a shop relic, which is nice. Okay, of these, I think we saw all of them before. Maybe not Indignation. If you are in Wrath, apply three Vulnerable to all enemies. Otherwise, enter Wrath. So that's sort of like a stance card. Uh, let's first remove the Normality. That's definitely something we want to do. Okay. Um, Basha wouldn't be bad. Yang, I mean, might be interesting. Uh, none of the cards are amazing. Uh... Yeah, Master of Strategy would be good. I mean, I, I don't mind keeping, hanging on to um, 
the gold. We actually, because we have Tor and Autopter, we should also pick up uh, a potion. So I'll take an attack potion. You know what? Let's take Yang. It might help us out. And then Vaja charge combo with one strength. Okay. All right. We'll go for another lead as well as a bunch of question marks. Um, I don't want to open this. I don't want to get a curse. We might not be able to remove it on time. Uh, we already used our uh, used up our Petrushka or Metrushka. All right. Don't have gold for this. Couldn't know that this was a shop. Okay, so we definitely want to do conclude. Um, let's do, um, yeah, weave of the wave of the hand would be nice, just to apply the weakness, and then maybe we could just focus on defense. Okay, and then I'll do vigilance. Uh, all right, so that will they'll be weakened for a long time. Um, signature move is you can uh, this can only be played if this is the only attack in your hand. It deals thirty damage, which is pretty powerful. Uh, we already have saw weave and. Pre uh, Perseverance is uh, gain five block when retained, increase its block by two. This combat, um, I think I'll skip all of these. Signature move is not a bad idea, but we have too many attacks for it to be valuable. All right, let's do talk to the hand, rolling bash. Okay, empty fist would actually just give us a bunch of energy. Let's do it, and then we can do a bite, and that's it. Fully defended. I'll take judgment here, that might be useful. Yeah, Judgment upgrades to be 40 uh, damage. If the enemy has 40 damage or less than 40 HP, kill him. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's do Carve Reality. Uh, I do want to use my Bites. We can actually heal up in this fight if we want to. Yeah, well, let's try to heal as much as possible. I'll take a Demon Form Trim. Okay, another 9 incoming. Yeah, there's Wish. Um, well, we can kill with Judgment, right? So maybe Wish should just give us uh, guilt Gold. Yeah, Fame of Fortune. Okay. And then we'll do Judgment here to kill. Alright, and then I'll do Just Lucky to um, get rid of the Diva form. I regretted taking that, actually. Alright. Um, sure, I'll do Vault. Might allow us to skip a turn, basically. Alright, we have Aiden coming. Um, we can almost fully defend. Let's do... Let's do Defend, then the Crush Joints. And then I'll do... Um, do I want to fully defend? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do Swivel, and then I'll do a Free Bite. Okay. I should have done Consecrate, no reason not to. Alright, yeah, I wonder if I should just wait for Bites. Um, yeah, let's both wait for Bites. I'll give it one more turn, we can always, always easily kill with the Smite. And if we get another Bite out, that's fine. But no, I don't want to delay this game for too much. We got a Fear Potion, I should have used my Potion last turn. Um, Sash Whip is deal 8 damage. If the last card played this combat with an attack, apply 1 weak. Plus another Deceiver Reality. I'm actually pretty okay with another Deceiver Reality. Why not? Alright, we got the Gremlin Leader here. Okay, so, um, let's see. I wouldn't mind entering Tranquility, but it also is retained, so it, there's no rush on it, really. Uh, let's kill this guy. Fight, Constant Crate. Okay. You know what? Let me also drink an Attack Potion. It's another Consecrate. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, and then Just Lucky kills. Um, I do want to hang on to Wave of the Hand. Probably, actually, we can play both. Why not? Okay. Um, none of these. I'm probably going to skip over the New Lords Codex un unless I need to. 27 incoming now. Weakness is very important. Let's do Wave of the Hand. Thank God we have the uh, Horn Cleat. 14 block. Rush joins. And then I think I'll do... Um, well, Vigilance gives us 10 block. Uh, Defend also gives us 10 block. Actually, we can do both. Why not? Actually, I forgot he's weakened, right? We didn't need that. That was un unnecessary. We got Establishment. Whenever a card is retained, reduce its cost by one this combat. That's actually really good. I'll take it. Okay. Alright, so here we can do Establishment, Carp Reality. So now this might next turn will be cheaper. But we definitely want to hang on to it. Okay. Um, so here I think we saw all of them except for Scrawl. Draw cards until your hand is full. Not super necessary. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea now. We, ha we do have the energy. Alright, so now Smite is free. Um, do I want to do Eruption? We do have Smite and Bite. Uh, I would also like to do Wish, but no, let's do Eruption. Actually, we can do everything. We get extra energy thanks to the Calm mod uh, the calm Stance. Um, here, let's do Bite you, Smite you. And then I'll wish... Um, do I want gold or the plate armor? You know what? Let's do live forever. Let's play it safe. 
Um, here we got Wallop, deal 9 damage, gain block equal to unblocked damage dealt. Um, and then Nirvana already read that. Okay, Wallop is actually not a bad idea. Especially when you're on Wrath, you can get a bunch of block that way. Let's do talk to the hand. Yeah, let's just play all attack cards. I'll also do Deceive Reality. But the safety will be zero cost next turn. Uh, like Water is at the end of your turn, if you are in Calm, gain seven block. Uh, and then Path to Victory, apply seven mark. All enemies lose HP equal to their mark whenever this card is played. So it's basically like Poison, but it's only when the card is played. So it's not that useful. I'll take a wall here, why not? Okay, we are in Wrath, but we can easily switch to um, Calm if we need to. But yeah, I, I want to show you, you gain a bunch of block this way, right? So um, I'll deal 13 damage, so I'll gain 13 block. And also kill the enemy, so that's pretty nice. Uh, let's do Talk to the End twice. Um, and you know what? Let's do Bite and then Kill. No need to prolong this further. Okay. We are Frozen Egg. Whenever you add a power card into your deck, upgrade it. As well as uh, we saw all of these, and I don't think I want to take any of them. Okay, so here let's upgrade. Not to upgrade. I mean, Talk to the End is just a safety upgrade, right? Gives you extra block every time you attack. And very useful. Okay, let's see. Bronze, Auto Bronze Automaton. Uh, definitely want to start off with Wishing Live Forever. That's going to be really powerful. So now, every turn, we gain three plated armor. Especially with this enemy, where he doesn't attack us that often. Um, I also think we should do Wave of the Hand Miracle Vigilance. Just trying to get rid of the artifact armor slowly. Okay. Uh, we got Meditate. Put a card into your disc from your discard pile into your hand and retain it. Enter Calm, and your turn. Uh, Prey is gain mantra and shuffle inside and simmering fury scry three enter wrath at the start of your next turn. I don't think I'll take any of those Okay, we do have a few attacks and not much we can do about that um, Except for killing one of them, right? Yeah, we're fully defending against the uh, automatons attack. Let's try to kill the unit Which seems not doable. Never mind All right, that's fine. We'll take some damage. I do want to decrease The HP on this guy Okay. Um, Devotion, Sash by Metal. I'll take Devotion, sure. Why not? We can try to get Mantra. Okay. We already have 5 plated armor. This guy took Devotion, which is actually really good, because I didn't really care for it. Um, let's see. Let's do Deceive Reality. Arc Reality. Okay. And then I'll do Smite, just to avoid taking an getting another card stolen from me. Um, and I think that's it, right? We don't want to exit... Yeah, I don't think we want to exit our stands. Not this turn. Um, Conjure Blade, shuffle an Expunger into your draw pile, and the Expunger is a deal 9 damage x time. So that's really powerful. But it'll be in your draw pile, so you can't play it immediately. Um, I don't think I'll take any of these. Okay. Alright, 28. Uh, so Talk to the Hand, unfortunately, is a buff, or a debuff, and the enemy has artifacts, so it won't be super useful. Um, but is there any way for us to get rid of the debuff? No, there's not. Okay, let's do Defend Crush Joints. Okay. I will do Talk to the End just to get rid of the artifact. Should I defend? Let's defend. Hang on to our plated armor. Um, here, we've already seen all of them. I don't want any of them. Okay. Okay, we're up to 11 or now. Yeah, 11 plated armor, which is really powerful. Include here. Let's do talk to the end. Uh, still, still, he has the artifact. I thought I got rid of it though. Let's do just lucky. <clears throat> I definitely want to hang on to. Actually, no. Next time we want to defend, so let's get rid of the bites. All right, let's do talk to the hand. Okay, and then um, probably just. Actually, we have eleven plate armor, right? So we are fully defending against the back banner. Let's do. <clears throat> let's do. I mean, might as well just sort of and conclude. Okay. Um, I already read all of these. Don't want to take any of them. Wallop should have been nice. Should have taken that. Would have also gotten directly into our hand because our dropout was empty. Alright, now, finally we can use talk to the hand. Okay. So, concentrate. Consecrate, sorry. And then, 51 incoming. I think we'll just focus on defense here. So, protect and safety. Actually, we're almost fully defended, right? Uh, I'll take judgment just for the backliner. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is why Live Forever is just really powerful, especially for boss fights. Okay, so let's do Crush Joints, Way of the um, Hand, and then I guess we're not going to gain any blocks, so that Way of the Hand was a little useless. Let's do a Bite. Okay. 
Um, reach heaven is shuffle eight or deal eight damage, shuffle it through violence into your draw pile, and through violence is a twenty damage uh, zero cost attack card. I'll take it. We need to deal damage, and at this point we're pretty good on defense. We just need to deal damage. All right, um, definitely want to finish with conclude. Uh, let's do. Mm, do I want another safety? Let's do just lucky first. Um, I'll hang on to both, and then we can do fight, fight, and smite and conclude. Okay. Um, here I don't take any of these. Okay. All right, so probably reach heaven. Yeah, we'll get this through violence very quickly, very soon at least. Rolling dash, fight, and uh, I think that's it. Next turn, if we get the um, judgment, that'll be nice. Uh, not judgment, the uh, eruption. Judgment will be fine too, but not super necessary. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll play the eruption actually. We'll deal a bunch of damage, or we'll get a bunch of damage, but we'll also deal some. And we can get out of it with the tranquility. Let's do eruption. Okay. And then uh, let me kill this guy. It gives us devotion, which is not super necessary. Go so through violence. And then, I mean, might as well play it, right? We can do Devotion, Defend. No. Um, hang on. We're getting attacked for 48, right? Yeah, so we do definitely want to play Tranquility. Let's just do Swivel and Tranquility. Okay. Um, Alpha, this is interesting. So you shuffle a Beta into your draw pile, and the Beta is you add an Omega into your draw pile. Uh, uh, sorry, the Omega goes to the bottom of your draw pile, and the Omega deals 50 damage. So it's a very powerful finisher card, but you have to get to the end of your draw pile, and we are currently about to reach the draw pile. So the Beta would go... Well, next turn we'll play the Alpha, and then the Beta will go into a drop pile of the next iteration, and then the Omega will be at the bottom of that, so that's not super useful. Collect this, put uh, a Miracle Plus into your hand at the start of your next X turns, um, and Miracle Plus gives, basically just gives you two extra energy. I don't think I'll take any of these. Alright, so um, here uh, we can do probably just a free bite. Yep. And then Bowling Bash. Um, I'll do Deceive Reality for safety, and then just conclude. Okay. Um, so, I'll take another Deceive Reality, why not? Okay, we're up to 32 plated armor, which is just ridiculous. Alright, let's do Wave of the Hand, a 1 Defend. Is that enough? Yep, that's enough. Actually, no, no, we'll take some damage, so maybe we should do a second Defend. Actually, I'll do a Deceive Reality here. Alright. Yeah, we're back to full HP too. Um, yeah, I think I'll speed this up since at this point we're fully defended with the plate armor, so I'll be back in a second once we kill them. Okay, so I did want to show you the Divinity Stance. Uh, we have that a card, the Devotion card, which gives us two mantra each turn. So after five turns, we enter Divinity. So um, now each uh, attack deals three times as much damage. So concentrate instead of dealing six, that's 18, which is pretty neat, but we're about to kill anyway, so fine. Ended up with 41 plate armor, that's why Wish is so powerful. All right, so, um, I mean, as much as I, uh, I like the Divinity stats, Devotion, it just takes too long to set up. Lesson learned is interesting, though. So deal 10, 10 damage. If this kills an enemy, upgrade a random card in your deck. But this upgrade is permanent, so you basically can avoid rest sites if you can manage to kill enemies with Lesson learned. So I think I'll take it, especially since a lot of our cards are not upgraded. All right, we don't really need extra energy, um, so definitely don't need Renew Dome. Sneko, I... Won't be that powerful for us, no. I think we'll go with Astrolabe. I'll pick up, transform three cards and upgrade them. That's probably going to be one of the bites. We don't need that many. And then, um, what are the weakest cards we have that I want to get rid of? Civil is probably not that powerful. Yeah, I think I can get rid of that. And then, um, what else? Maybe Crush Joints? We rarely use the vulnerability. Let's do it. All right. Well, we got vulnerability back, which is fine. So we got Trip uh, Crescendo, which is a retain card, Enter Wrath. So that's similar to Tranquility, well, the opposite. And then Foresight, Innate, at the start of your turn, Scry 3, uh, which is fine. I mean, it is Innate. We are able to Scry. It'll just make, well, it'll make the game take longer, but which is fine. As long as you don't mind watching it, I don't mind playing it. All right, so we can do a three lead path. I think at this one we want to maximize the leads. Can we get a shop after the chest? We can. So we could open the, the chest and then uh, remove the curse. I think I might actually do that. That only gives us two elites. But um, yeah, I think that's better though. All right, we also need to remember that at uh, rest side we need to um, gain the last key. All right, so do I want to start with wish here? Let's do trip first. Um, yeah, we'll take some damage here, but um, let's do foresight, wish a... Um, 
Yeah, let's do the uh, Live Forever. Live Forever is just so powerful. And then we can defend and I'll miracle the building bash. Okay. Um, so I think I'll take Ragnarok here, sure. A lot of damage. Alright, uh, let's keep the talk to the hand and get rid of everything. Actually, just get rid of the defense. Alright. Um, so Ragnarok deals uh, 45 damage. That's, uh, that's pretty powerful. But I do want to... Well, actually, I guess we have the um, Horn Cleat for defense. Let's do talk to the hand and then Ragnarok. That also gives us a bunch of block. Okay. Um, I'll take Conclude. Should be able to kill if we draw it. Right. And then here, uh, Lesson Learned. Definitely want to take that. All right. So we can do... Can we... 19. Um, yeah, let's do Empty Fist. And then Lesson Learned. So we'll upgrade a random card. We'll just Consecrate. Very nice. Um, here, I don't think I'll take... Oh, there's an upgrade Consecrate. Eh, I don't think I'll need it. Skip. All right. Um, so we can heal to fill HP, which is pretty useless. We'll lose more. Uh, offer Golden Idol. Gain 333 gold and lose Golden Idol. I think I'll do that. We don't really need Golden Idol anymore. And also the gold is going to be really useful for the upcoming shop. Okay, um, I think I'll go with another Wish here. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so let's do Live Forever again. Defend. Actually, no, let's play our attack cards first. Concentrate to trigger the Yang. And then we can defend. Alright, and then do I want to Bite or Foresight? Let's Miracle the Foresight. That's actually um, a pretty powerful card. Alright, so Omni Science says choose a card in your drop out, play the chosen card twice and exhaust it. So that can be really powerful, but also takes up all of your energy. I think we'll go with Foreign Influence instead. Maybe another Deceiver. Yeah, no, let's do Foreign Influence. Oh, right, I forgot. This is the Neuralist Codex. I thought it was the end of the fight already. Alright, uh, so definitely want to keep both Toxins in hand and the Crescendo, actually. Let's keep everything. Alright, uh, let's do Trip. Yeah, not the best hand here. We can do Crescendo and then get out of it with Vigilance. Uh, I think we'll do that. Let's do Crescendo. And then we can do Talk at the end twice, which actually kills the Frontliner. And then we'll just Vigilant out. Okay. Um, I'll take Establish for sure. I just realized that for a new character, Nola's Codex is great. You get to read all of the cards. Uh, Wave of the Hand is not a bad idea. Um, actually, I'll keep all of them. Okay. So we can definitely conclude uh, for a bunch of damage. Let's do Wave of the Hand, Deceive Reality. And then I think I'll do Empty Fist for extra energy. Bite safety to avoid any damage. And then conclude. Okay. Um, none of these. Actually, yeah, I forget. We already have 8 plated armor. Okay. Um, definitely want to focus on attacks. Let's get rid of the Tranquility. Alright, so um, let's do Eruption. Bowling, ba Bowling Bash is going to do enough to kill the Frontliner. Okay. And then a bite. Alright, I guess we didn't use our lesson learned. That might have been a mistake. Could have waited for that. Um, so upgrade the windmill strike is not a bad idea. Feel no evil. I don't think we I've read that before. So deal eight damage if the enemy intends to attack. Enter calm. I think we'll go with windmill strike. And keep it in our hand until we're ready to play it. Uh definitely don't want to lose five hundred gold for a relic, especially since we have a shop upcoming. Alright, so um let's do hmm. Let's do talk to the hand to gain some block this turn. Do I want to play wish? I would like to. Yeah, let's do wish um, live forever again. And then I'll do miracle and bite. That both gives us some block and heals us a little bit too. Um, I'll take judgment here. That might actually help with the spiker. Okay. Alright, none of them are attacking, which is nice. Uh, let's do... Talk to the hand, receive reality, and I think I'll do a bite. Okay. Yeah, I want to get this guy ready to be able to play that um, judgment. I'll take tranquility here. Okay. okay, we are frail now. Um, let's see. So judgment, we should get this guy under 30. Can we do that? I think we can. Yeah. So let's first do protect. Then the see uh not the see reality, just lucky. Uh, okay, I think I'll keep the crescendo and the bowling bash for that matter. And then we'll do a bite and judgment. Okay. And we are gonna take a bunch of damage from the uh Siri Guardian, which is fine. Uh Dio's Ex Machina. I didn't know uh, this is a new card for me. So unplayable. When you draw this card, add two miracles to your hand and exhaust. 
Interesting. So it's basically just emergency energy. Um, yeah, I don't think it's super useful. Not for us. I don't think we have an energy problem. Okay. Uh, lesson learned. Upgrades us a Deceive Reality. Very nice. And then I think we can do Crescendo Empty Fist, right? So Crescendo, Consecrate, um, Empty Fist. Okay. And then I'll do a Safety. Let's do Safety. Actually, I forgot. We have the um, Bladed Armor. I don't take any of these. Okay, so um, let's do... We have 9 plate armor. I don't want to do... Well, I guess we can do Eruption and Tranquility always. Let's do the Trip and then Fight and Tranquility. So we don't need to gain any block though, which is uh, unfortunate. Yeah, I'll take Alpha. Maybe I'll show off the uh, capabilities of that. We're taking a little more damage than I was originally intending to. Uh, let's just double defend here. Okay, I'll hang on to the Windmill. Um, I don't think I need a second Alpha. That seems like overkill. Alright, so if we draw the Alpha now, we play it, we'll put the Beta into our draw pile, and the next turn we'll play the Beta, which puts the Omega at the bottom of our... Oh, right. Okay, so, won't be able to use it yet, which is fine. Um, let's do... Um, well, I mean, I don't I want to defend as much as possible. You know what? Let's do the Swift Potion, and then... Can't play the Beta. Uh, this, is, this is a uh, combat of miscalculation here. Hmm... You know what? No, this is going horribly. Let me reload this combat. I think I did really poorly here. I'll reload and I'll be back with a nice victory. Okay, so I think the biggest mistake with Judgment only looks at HP. So the Sphere Guardian only had 20 HP. That's, that's the way you sh I should have killed him. So anyway, that made my job much easier. I don't think I'll take any of these cards. I should using my potions more. I'll take an attack potion. Okay, so we got giant head here. Uh, should be doable. Definitely want to do foresight. Um, let's hang on to the windmill strike a little bit. Let's double defend here and then finish with conclude. Okay. Um, I will probably take perseverance here. Okay, so um, I actually don't want any of them. I want to get to my wish as soon as possible allow us to at least set up. Lesson learned is going to be really difficult here. Um, let's do wave of the hand. Just lucky. Um, I'll hang on definitely to the talk to the hand. That's going to be really powerful. Actually, both are fine. Um, and then let's do... Can we gain some block? I'll do defend just to apply the weakness. And then um, I'll do a bite here. Okay. Um, probably fear no evil. evil sure. Alright, so definitely another talk to the hand. Uh, actually, yeah, I guess I already sort of had a choice of, of this last time. So definitely talk to the head. I'll do carve reality, uh, deceive reality, and I think I might as well do a smite. No reason not to. Um, none of these. Rushdown is new. Whenever you enter Wrath, draw two cards. That's not bad. Not necessary, but not bad either. Okay, um, I'll hang on to all of them, actually. Alright, let's do trip. Okay, um, let's see. Can we defend first? Yeah, let's do safety. And then I'll do deceive reality. Probably should have done that instead of the safety. And then um, just our attacks. Let's just do consecrate. Actually, let's do consecrate and then we'll strike. Might as well. Alright. Um, probably don't want to do vault here. I'll take a reach heaven. Yeah, we're not dealing with damage quickly enough, unfortunately. Uh, definitely want to hang on to wish. Probably don't need the eruption or the bite for that matter. Okay. Let's do Wish and uh, Live Forever. Okay. And then we do have 22 incoming. That's probably a Protect turn, right? Actually, Safety is 13 and 9 is 20, uh, 22. That's exactly enough. Let's do Miracle, Safety, and def uh, Deflect. Or Defend. Alright, here, um, I don't think I'll take any of these. Alright. 35 incoming. Definitely want another talk uh, to the hand. Okay, let's do that. Consecrate. Actually, we should probably play our skills first, right? Uh, let's do Deceive Reality. Safety. And then Consecrate. And um, yeah, we have enough block with the uh, plated armor here. I should have taken Wall up there. I should also use a potion here. Let's do that. Um, definitely want to hang on to Windmill Strike and Deceive Reality. Probably don't need a bite. 40 incoming. 
Uh, let me see what attack potion I get. We'll include wallop. Wallop is going to be nice, especially if it's zero cost. Let's do just lucky. Okay. Uh, I'll hang on to the trip. And then, um, let's see. So we can do a bite, a wallop. 11 damage. Actually, we should play that at the end. Let's do deceive reality. Okay, we already have uh, almost enough block. Defend, and then I'll do uh, wallop here. Okay. Um, I'll take another talk to the end. Alright, uh, I definitely want to keep that. Actually, we can keep all of them. Applying weakness wouldn't be a bad idea. Alright, so trip, uh, wave of the hand, and then talk to the hand. Okay. And I'll apply some weakness with the defend. Actually, no, we should. We could also just do protect, right? So we have uh, almost enough block. Actually, let's do safety and defend. That way we apply weakness a little bit more. I'll take establishment, okay. Yeah, this is fight is taking a while. I feel like we should be in a good position to not take any damage. So I think I'm going to speed this up to make it a little more uh, less boring. All right. Uh, in the end, we dealt a <laughs> our. Uh, wait, where's the windmill strike? Yeah, it got up to uh, like 60 something damage, and then with wrath, we dealt over 100 damage there. So we got Juju Brisa. Normal enemy combats are no longer countered in question mark rooms. And yes, as I said, I didn't lose any HP. Um, probably none of these. Okay. So here, let's probably upgrade the lessons learned. I mean, once we upgrade that, it will upgrade everything else. So let's do it. Hopefully, hopefully, it'll upgrade everything else. Okay. So we got the jaw worms here. Let's see, so um, eruption is a little dangerous since they're all basically attack us every turn, although we do have tranquility. Um, let's do foresight, deceive reality. Let, let me focus on defense in this, this particular fight. And then just safety and um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to take a little bit of damage. I'll take Ragnarok here, sure. Although it does damage to random enemies, so that might not be great. Okay, um, I'll hang on to the Crescendo and actually hang on to everything. We are getting attacked. Okay, Wish is a little dangerous here. It's a lot of HP that I'd rather, or uh, energy that I'd rather save for something else. Let's do Bowling Bash here. Uh, we could have done Crescendo Tranquility, I realize. That would have killed. Um, I'll hang on to both Bites. Okay, and then we'll do a Defend. Actually, let's do Miracle Wish, why not? Okay. Um, I'll take, uh, no, I don't think I'll take any of these. Okay. Um, here we definitely want to hang on to the white, uh, the bites and the wave of the hand. Uh, so let's do wave of the hand and then apply some weaknesses. Actually, should I do crescendo and tranquility? Let's do that. Let's do crescendo and then we can kill this guy. Oh, uh, but then we'll take a bunch of damage, right? Well, we have to do tranquility here. Which is fine. We'll take 14, but at least we got one of them out. Oh, right. And then the uh, wave of the hand actually worked with the plate armor as well. Um, here, I'll hang on to all of them. Okay. So definitely want to apply talk to the hand. <clears throat> and then do uh, deceive reality. will give us enough block. And then might as well do a defend. Why not? Um, none of these. So every time we attack the backline, we gain six block, which is pretty good. Um, I'll yeah, Ragnarok is not a bad idea. I'll hang on to all of them. Okay, let's do trip, and then uh, Ragnarok. Let's see what we hit. All right, almost killed the backliner. Actually, we can kill this one. All right. I feel like we have enough cards to kill the frontliner next turn. Yeah. He is also vulnerable too. Or conclude would work. Oh, actually, do we want to wait for the lesson to learn, which is literally the bottom cover of my deck? I think we do. Let's do the smite. Okay, so lesson learned should be able to kill. Let's do protect. We are fully defended. And then, um... Let's do... No, consecrated will kill too, right? Let's wait. Okay, yeah, this is this is a smart usage of lesson learned. I definitely want to play that. He does have some defense, though. Let's do consecrate. Okay, and then lesson learned for a kill. Also, we got a bite upgraded. All right, we got... Uh, oh, this is a new potion, Stance Potion. Enter Calm or Wrath. Uh, so this is really nice in case we are in Wrath in an accidental turn. 
Okay, so here I'll open this. We got Shuriken. Every time we play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. And then here we will remove the normality. Uh, let me first buy the membership card. 50% discount on all products. Definitely want to do that. And then let's get rid of the normality. Um, okay, so everything is on sale. Um, Fasting is a new card. Gained four strength, gained four dexterity, gained one energy less at the start of each turn. So that's sort of like a finisher. Um, and we've seen all the other cards before. I think I'll go with Mango up and pick up, raise your max speed by 14. And then uh, Warpaint up and pick up okay, two random skills. Do we actually have skills that are unupgraded? Um, yeah, I guess we have Vigilance and um, Tranquility. Yeah, and the Deceive Reality. Sure, why not? Okay, Tranquility and Vigilance got upgraded. There's another uh, new potion, Bottled Miracle. Add two Miracles to your hand. I think I'll take it. Really cheap. Extra energy in case we're in an emergency. Alright, so... Um, which ones do I want to lose here? I'll lose the trip. I got it with the Astrolabe. I never really wanted it. I mean, it's a nice card. Um, let's see what we get here. So, Flash of Steel won't be bad. Uh, the Bomb, Bandage Up, Good Instincts, all good. Panic Button is really good. Hand of Greed is really good, too. But I think here I'll go with Panic Button. Here I'll probably go with Good Instincts. And Bandage Up is one time use for 4 HP. Good Instincts is zero, uh, multiple times use for 5 block, basically, which is 5 HP. Yeah, let's go with Good Instincts. And here I'll go with Flash of Steel. Okay. Alright, Nemesis. This might be difficult, depending on what we draw. Um, let me do talk to the hand. Definitely foresight. I can't do eruption here. We'll gain too much uh, incoming. Let's do let's do defend and then I'll miracle the lesson learned just because it's very unlikely that we'll use this turn and that we will also gain a little bit of block. Um, I'll take diva for sure. I just won't play it if we get it. 45 incoming. Yeah, we need block here. I'll get rid of the bite. Okay, so um, let's do flash of steel. Uh, wave of the hand, very nice. Um, we can do good instincts to apply weakness, okay, and then probably empty fist. Okay, we're almost fully defended. Never mind. Yeah, no, almost fully defended. That was really good. All right, uh, of these, I'll probably take um, windmill strike. Okay. All right, I'll hang on to the wish um, and the conclude. Sure. All right, uh, wish gives us. Um, Live forever again, yeah. Let's play it safe. Okay. Um, I'll take Halt here. Okay. Alright, 12 incoming. Um, I'll hang on to... Well, he is intangible, so Bowling Bash is not really useful, but the rest is fine. Okay, let's do Carp Reality. Just lucky. Um, next turn, we can attack, so let's get rid of the defensive cards. Alright. And then I'll do... Yeah, we were actually fully defended, so might as well... Actually, I'll hang on to the smite when he's not um, intangible. Uh, Sands of Time is interesting. Retain... Uh, deal 20 damage. When retained, lower its cost by 1 this combat. So after 4 turns, this will be 0 cost. I think I'll take it. Okay. Another 12. Um, I'll hang on to... You know what? All of them are fine. Uh, maybe I should have focused on attack cards, but I think this is okay. Uh, let's do Vigilance for the block. And then we can do Bite and Smite. Okay. I should have done Consecrate. No reason not to. Uh, here I'll take the another Sound of Storm. Why not? Okay. Um, definitely don't need Diva Form. I'll keep the Panic Button just in case. Because we don't have any better defensive cards. And doesn't look like we do. Um, I guess... No, we could defend with something here. Let's do Crescendo. Um... 34. Oh, he is intangible, so that was somewhat useless. Um, I'm also going to just get the extra energy tranquility. Okay. Um, you know what? I think I'll attack. They'll give us 6 block, and we have 9 plated armor. We should be able to defend that way. I'd rather not risk playing panic button and then uh, suffering because of it. Actually, Ragnarok will trigger the, um, the uh, hand of uh, whatever we have there. Talk to the hand multiple times, so maybe you should do that. If you burn here, okay. Wave at the hand. Um, definitely want to finish with the conclude. Uh, let's do deceive reality for the block, and then probably just conclude. Right? Uh, this is weird. What am I canceling here? Oh, weird. All right, and then let's just do conclude here. Okay. Um, yeah. I, now I'll take Ragnar. We got to offer it multiple times. Okay, so um, we do need the block, uh, but I would like to play Diva form if possible. I'll hang on to the bite. 
All right, unfortunately, hang on, 15 block. We do need a lot of block here. We could do safety. That might almost be enough. Okay. Um, and then here, I'll take the collector. Yeah, we'll lose a little bit of HP here, but we have the bites. We can heal back up. Yeah, I think at this point, we're pretty much intangible. So I'm going to speed this up again. Okay. Um, we got bronze scales. I just come with three thorns, as well as a speed potion, which I don't think I need. And an upgrade master of reality might be interesting. Uh, Wreath of flames. I don't think we've seen that. Your next attack deals eight additional damage. Not super useful, though. I think I'll skip these. All right. And then uh, let's do another shop. Sure. Uh, we do have the uh, membership card, so that's not a bad idea. Um, wheel kick is new. Deal 15 damage and draw two cards for two energy. Uh, discovery is nice. I'm also thinking stone calendar. At the end of turn 7, deal 52 damage to all en enemies. Is there anything I want to remove? Well, we don't have any curse to remove. I think I'll go with the stone calendar. The other option is to ornament the fan. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, deal um, or gain four block. That might be better. Yeah, let's take it just to make sure that we are fully defended if we need to. And I think I'll save the gold for the next shop in the next war. Next act. Let's get the uh, ruby key here. All right. So uh, we do have a few powers. So this might be difficult. Uh, we definitely need to play foresight, though. Yeah, let's do foresight. Give him some strength. Uh, we can do vigilance. Uh, bowling would do. Bowling dash would do a good amount of damage. Uh, Deceive reality will also allow us to uh, fully defend. You know what? Let's do bottle miracle. Then we can do all, all of them. Okay. Deceive reality. And uh, yeah, fully defended. Um, I'll take a windmill strike, just have it hang on to or uh, stay in our hand. Okay, um, definitely want to bite, definitely want good sticks. Yeah, I think I'll take all of these. All right, so we do have a protect here. I might actually play that. Let's do protect, then uh, bite, good instincts, we're fully defended, and then deceive reality. All right. I wasn't super committed to that. Uh, devotion might be nice, but it'll be a power side. So rather not give him that uh, extra strength. Okay. Um, definitely consecrate here. Uh, Biden just lucky. Yeah, I'll hang on to all of them. All right. So definitely talk to the anti backliner. Okay. Then we can do uh, consecrate. Okay. Just lucky. Uh, hang on. Yeah. Let's do just lucky. You. We'll gain some uh, strength that way. I'll definitely hang on to the talk to the hand. And then we can kill you. And uh, conclude does not yet kill. Let's do... We do have a lot of incoming here. Let's play a safety. So now we're fully defended. Uh, not... No, no. We're not fully defended, right? Because it's 35 incoming. All right. I'll do another safety miracle and conclude. Okay. Um, I don't think I'll take any of these. Alright, um, definitely another talk to the hand, uh, probably another bite, uh, don't need the panic button yet. This enemy is attacking every turn, so panic button is a little dangerous. Let's do weave, uh, wave of the hand, talk to the hand, okay, so that way we'll be applying a good amount of, um, uh, what do you call it, weakness. And then I think I'll just double bite the front line, alright? We'll take some damage that way, but I think that's the best option. Yeah, we don't have any defense anyway, so... Well, actually, I guess we can defend if I uh, attack the backliner. No, that's fine. We'll take some damage here, but then I think we'll be better prepared next turn. Um, I don't think I need any of these. Okay, we still didn't have the wish yet. Yeah, all right, there it is. Okay, so let's do... Um, wish the plated armor, just to make sure we're fully defended. And then I think from here on out, we should be in a good position. Let's do Flash of Steel. Um, empty Fist to gain energy. Okay. And Defend. Now we're fully defended. I'll do Card Reality too. All right. And from this point on, I think we'll just uh, wait for the plate Armor to increase. I wouldn't be surprised if Wish gets downgraded because I think it's too powerful right now. It basically allows you to do what I'm doing right now, which is to sort of wait until you have so much plate Armor that you don't care what happens, uh, which is probably not the best uh, game mechanic. Uh, might make it a little boring uh but uh well that's that's where we stand right now so might as well use and abuse it uh actually if i do crescendo we'll uh we'll still be able to fill eh, let's wait no reason to risk it i guess uh, i'll do defend here sure okay. all right so because of this i'll uh, basically speed this up uh, i want to wait for the minimal strike to get powerful and also get enough plated armor and then i'll be right back i also plan to bite my way to full hp so yeah that should be fairly easy to do
All right, almost back to full HP. That was very easy. We had 30 plate armor at the end. Uh, pretty good position. All right, didn't even crack the thousand, but yeah, I wasn't planning on perfecting any elite Sarasa, so that's not surprising. But yeah, let's see how we how this deck does against the hard. Now, wish it's gonna be pretty useless against the hard since the hard does have a multi attack, multi hit attack. All right, um, let's see which is the last card we wanna upgrade. Flash of Steel wouldn't mind an upgrade. Uh, Panic button is a little too dangerous, although we do have a uh, an ancient potion, so that might help. Um, I think I'll do... Yeah, let's upgrade the panic button. Why not? Okay. So then last shot. We do have a little bit of gold. Enough for a removal. Or uh, just barely close to Ragnarok. That would have been really nice, actually. Um, I think I'll probably just remove. Um, actually, no. Let's take a potion. Let's take a block potion. And then do I want any anything else? Third eye might be nice, especially for the heart. Let's take it. Okay. So before the heart, let's deal with the uh, spire, sh spear and shields. Um, so crescendo might be a little dangerous. Let's do foresight, arc reality. Um, wait, there's no way we can avoid damage, right? Actually, no, right, we have the yang. Okay, so we can fully defend here. And then I think I'll get rid of the uh, lesson learned. All right. Um, probably not of... Actually, battle him that might be nice. Speed up this fight. Okay, we do have a lot of incoming. Uh, do I want to play the Wish here? Um, probably not. We don't have the energy. Although we do have the Miracle. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'll keep all of them. A lot of incoming. Let me see. So, we could do Crescendo and then Tranquility to gain energy. Yeah, we do have a lot of incoming. Not 100% sure how to defend against that. I don't think I'll do Wish here. I think we'll try to defend as much as possible. So let's do Flash of Steel. Just lucky. Uh, Alright, Weave of the Hand, or Wave of the Hand is going to be nice. So would be... No, let's focus on Defense here. And I think I'll do Protect. So, yeah, actually, and with Defend, we'll be fully defended. Alright, we can actually Miracle the Wish. Sure, let's do it. And again, I'll do Live Forever just to play it safe. And I'll take Wallop here. Okay, somehow we're fully defending against this. Alright, uh, Wave of the Hand, definitely Empty Fist, and I don't see if they're going to attack, right? I believe they might. Let's still keep uh, Eruption. We do have Tranquility here. Alright, 51 incoming. Um, let's do Wave of the Hand, Eruption, and then we can always do Empty stance, uh, Empty Fist, but we don't have any defense this turn, right? Why don't we do Third Eye? Uh, we definitely need defense next turn. Let me get rid of the Bite. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do Eruption. Um... Yeah, it's unfortunate we don't have any defense this turn. I guess we're going to get the plate armor, so the enemies will still be weakened. But yeah, we, we have to attack the backliner here. Um, yeah, let's just do Eruption and Empty Fist. Okay. Alright, that's a little bit of uh, block, but unfortunately not enough. Um, probably none of these. Okay, at least he's weakened too, so we're saving some HP here. Okay, um, definitely want to keep Bella, uh Yeah, actually, let's keep, keep all of them. Alright, so Wallop, uh, we should attack this guy because that will give us more block. Actually, we can do Crescendo and then Tranquility. That might not be a bad idea. No, I'd rather keep them for later. So let's do Wallop, Receive Reality. Um, and then we do have 25 incoming. Uh, we are almost fully defended against that. Um, yeah, let's, yeah, you know what? Let's do the Battle Him. I think it's going to be more useful. Uh, I'll take Diva for him, sure. Alright. Uh, okay, definitely want to talk to the hand. Actually, I'll take all of these. We do have a lot of incoming from the frontliner. Let's do talk to the hand. Panic button is dangerous, since I think the backliner is guaranteed to attack next turn. Um, let's do concentrate, or consecrate, sorry. Um, smite. I don't want to do crescendo. No, no, no. Let's do... Uh, I don't want to use waste my potion here, but I think I might. Because we do have 36 incoming and no way of defending against that much. Let's do a bite here. And then I think safety and defend actually would give us enough block, right? Okay. Uh, we're not dealing damage fast enough. That's a problem here. Alright, at least the backliner is not attacking. Uh, let's do... Let's actually keep everything here. Alright, so I'll do talk to the hand you. Good instincts. Um, bite. And at some point we do want to turn around. Uh, smite. 
Okay. So we have 30 block. And we gain a little bit more. Uh, actually, if I do Tranquility Crescendo, I'll gain energy. And I can do Vigilance to get out of it. So let's do this. And then I'll do Vigilance. Okay, fully defended this turn. Unfortunately, the Eva form was sort of wasted there. Um, I'll hang on to both. Okay, so uh, if we attack, uh, if we attack the backliner, we'll get a bunch of energy or a uh, block. I mean, I think we'll do that. So consecrate, smite, smite. Um, empty fist will give us some energy back. Let's do that. Okay, and then we are almost fully defended. Actually, instead of windmill strike, maybe I'll just do safety. No, well, yeah, let, let's do safety just so the windmill strike gets a little more upgraded before we play it. Okay. Um, I'll hang on to the eruption. Actually, I feel like I saw that this guy was attacking, right? Actually, I think both are attacking. Uh, let me get rid of the eruption then. Okay, no, only the frontliner was attacking. Still, eruption would have been really bad. Um, let's do just lucky. Okay. I'll hang on to the defend. Then bowling bash for some defense. Bite. And smite kill strike. Oh, that was close. Alright. And then, uh, might as well third eye here. Um, wave of the hand would be nice, and the defend. I don't think we need the bite here. Okay. Uh, and I'll take another talk to the hand. Alright, yeah, this is what I mean with this character is a thinking character. It takes a while to make sure that you're not taking any damage, that you're doing everything you're doing. Alright, so let's do defend here for weakness, and then carve reality. We actually are fully defended already. Uh, not counting the burn, but I think that's fine. Smite. Okay. Um, I'll take Reach Heaven here. Alright, maybe I'll just wait for Bites now. Uh, okay, this this is good. That's exactly what I wanted. So, Bite 1, Bite 2. Um, might as well Wallop for damage. Actually... Yeah, let's just conclude here. Should have smited it first. Okay. Um, I'll get rid of the burn and keep the rest. Okay, talk to the hand. Yeah, I think we should be able to kill. There's no bite upcoming, so I don't think we should force it. It'll take too long. Okay, so we got Happy Flower. Every three turns, gain extra energy, as well as um, Nirvana's new. Whenever you scry, gain six block. Um, I guess we scry every turn. Yeah, let me take Nirvana, sure. All right, so let's see how we can do here. Uh, definitely want to do four side, but let's start with the defend. Okay, then port side. Um, and then might as well do bite and consecrate. Okay. Uh, n actually, another four side might be a little too much. Yeah, well, let's not let's take it. Okay, we got a bunch of... Um, uh, here, bite, nirvana, defend. I definitely want to do nirvana and the defend. Let's do that. Unfortunately, this turn will take a bunch of damage. I don't think there's much we can do about that. Um, let's do wave of the hand first, then defend for weakness application, okay, and then Nirvana. Alright, I'll also drink the block potion, that's probably the best time ever. Okay, none of these. Alright, but so every turn we should be getting uh, six block. Um, I'll actually hang on to all of these. Yep, that's true, great. Okay, so we can do flash of steel. Uh, panic button. We know that he's not attacking next turn. That's perfect. Okay. And we don't even need to worry about um, playing more uh, defensive cards. Uh, I still think we should keep the windmill. Okay. Um, none of these. Okay. The um, uh, thorns are doing a good amount of damage here. Okay. Get rid of the void. Actually, this is probably the best turn to use the void to exhaust it. Um, yeah, fine, let's keep it. Okay, definitely wish, and definitely live forever. Alright, and then let's do, um, just lucky, sure. Uh, I'll... I don't think I want any of these. We are getting attacked next turn, so we want to make sure we are prepared for that. Um, talk to the end, definitely. Okay, 31 incoming. Uh, definitely want to do a talk to the hand and protect. Probably don't need carve reality here. Okay, so talk to the hand first. Of course, she has artifacts, so 
that didn't do anything. Um, probably just defend then as much as we can, right? So defend, safety, and I'll actually... I'm almost fully defended. Do I want a miracle to protect? No, I'll actually keep the protect for next turn. All right, uh, probably none of these. Okay, so we'll take some damage here, but not that much. And then next turn we'll have an extra protect, which is good. Uh, definitely want to play talk to the hand. We can actually do eruption, but I don't think we need to. Okay, so let's do talk to the hand twice. That way we'll actually get through the artifact. All right, third eye, um, get rid of the slimed and the vigilance. Uh, next turn we're not getting attacked, so we might as well attack ourselves. Um, and then just protect, right? That does not give us... Actually, hang on. If we do Miracle, Protect, and Deceive Reality, I think that, that allows us to fully defend. Um, I'll take Wall of here. Actually, no, Nirvana. Okay, yep. Exactly fully defended. Very nice. Okay. Um, I'll hang on to the Nirvana. Actually, we can do a Bite, too. Yeah, the problem is the heart scales up very quickly. We are not do dealing damage as quickly as I was hoping. The Nirvana first. Um, and then just play our attack cards. Actually, do I want to do Tranquility here? No, no, no. We might. We don't want to be in the Wrath form when the enemy is attacking. Dark Reality. Okay. Uh, none of these. Okay. Uh, definitely get rid of the burn. I'll hang on to the rest. 44 incoming. Here we want to focus on defense. Uh, let's do Vigilance. Um, and then we already have 32, so we need a little bit more block. Uh, probably protect, right? Defend is not going to be enough. Actually, we can do safety and defend to keep the protect for later. For next turn, exactly. Okay. Alright, that's 72 incoming. So, you can see how difficult this gets. Alright, so let's do third eye. Um, I'll hang on to the... to all of them. We're not getting attacked next turn, right? Yep. And then just focus on defense on the rest, right? So, protect. Good instincts. Uh, and then double defend. Yeah, that's the most defense we can do and we're still gonna take... Oh, never mind, we have to play the armor, right? I forget about that. So, fully defend it here. Okay. Um, alright, I'll definitely want to hang on to all of these. All right, let's do Flash of Steel, Steve Reality. Uh, let's do Talk to the Hand. Okay, so every time we tag, we gain for five block, which is nice. The Steve Reality, um, Consecrate, Smite, and Conclude. Okay. All right, Windmill Strike is getting uh, powerful, but not as powerful. Let's take Sound of Time. All right. Um, I'll hang on to the Sound of Time, but we do need block, so let's get rid of the Bite. Okay, so just lucky. Um, hang on to the defend for next turn. Wave of the hand. Um, and then let's do safety. And I'll do the secret alley, sure. Okay. Uh, another Nirvana. Alright. Okay, another 72 incoming. I want to play both of those. So let's do Nirvana. Um, defend. Just lucky. Uh, next turn we're not getting attacked, so I don't need, think we need to see reality. Uh, save team. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, well, we can do defend, empty fist, gain a bunch of energy, and do now do a windmill strike. Okay, fully defended. We did take... I forget if we take some damage. I think we did. Maybe we're perfecting this one. Um, yeah, this turn we're not getting attacked, although I would like to keep a protect for next turn. So let's just do the bites here. Okay, that also gives us a bunch of block. Alright. Um, I'll take none of these, actually. Okay, ooh, that's a lot. How much is that? 180 incoming. <laughs> that's, that is quite a bit. With the eruption, that would be, what, 360 incoming? That's ridiculous. Alright. Uh, yeah, so 180 is a lot. Um, not sure what we can do about that. Let's try something. Uh, so Flash of Steel. Wave of the Hand. The weakness might be nice. Okay. Receive Reality. Um, yeah, this is uh, 180. It's quite a bit. I think what we'll do is... Uh, I don't think there's anything we can do here, right?
Um, it's just too much. 180, come on. Uh, so, I'm trying to figure out a way to gain extra energy. We just don't have it. Um, let's do Consecrate here. Okay. Um, and then I think we'll do... Um, yeah, I don't know. Protect? That's the most uh, block we can get, right? Or actually, well, if we do safety and sense of time, that's the most block we can get. But uh, yeah, no way we can defend against uh, 180 incoming. All right, well, this is the problem with this particular deck. It, um, it just didn't deal damage fast enough. But anyway, I think I'm still pretty happy. We got a collector bonus for the bites. We perfected three of the um, six elites we got, and we perfected one of the boss. I think the first floor boss, right? We did get overkill, and uh, yeah. Ultimately, this was mostly just to show you the new character. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned, uh, I will be on vacation, so there will be no video tomorrow. Uh, but I'll be back the day after with uh, dailies again. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.